Well, hello there, friends. One of my favorite recipes today, a garlic shrimp with a linguine. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. Don't forget, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We need new subscribers. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this amazing garlic shrimp. Well, hello there, friends. Another fantastic recipe today. Really simple. That's gonna be a quick one. <laughs> we should write that down on the inventory of uh, quick videos for Chef Jean-Pierre. Garlic shrimp. I love garlic, I love shrimp and butter. Garlic shrimp and butter. It's gonna be amazing, really simple. Friends, I got a wok going. You could use a fry pan if you want, whatever you got. I just think it's easier with a wok and I'm gonna serve it with a little linguine. So let's talk about the shrimp. I take the shrimp, friends. I got them already here. I wanna show you. What I do is I take a, uh, I use a black tiger shrimp. You can use a uh, 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 blue Mexican, the wonderful shrimp. Use whatever shrimp you can find. And uh, I like the black tiger shrimp because they are very firm. And here's what I do, friends. I take it, I squeeze the tail out. And right, and then I take it and I cut it completely in half, you see? And I do that in a lot of my recipes. You can leave the whole shrimp together if it makes you happy. I just think they're very cool that way. Here's what happens when we cook it, friends. They turn, they twist, and they get a little firmer, almost like a lobster. And, uh, and that's easy to do, and they cook, so, and they cook really, really cool. Okay, leave, you don't want to cut them, don't cut them. Don't worry about it, they'll still be delicious. Okay, this is the kind of recipe, friends, then you really don't need a recipe that much. But let me tell you the mise en place anyway, because for those of you that cook it with us at home, I want you to have your mise en place ready. Because this is a channel, the kind of channel, friends, and you can make everything, you can prepare everything, and then I'll do it with you. That's why it's not like a, a, a quick little two-second video, because I'm actually cooking. I'm doing the thing. This is getting hot. I'm going to put the butter in there, and we're going to start cooking. So I got butter. <laughs> I got a, a shrimp that I cut already. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep a couple of little shrimp. Then I'm just gonna cut butterfly. I'm just gonna butterfly those, you see? Just, just, no, just butterfly them. And then we'll just use those for decoration toward the end, okay? Those are gonna be to decorate the plate. So the plate looks kinda cool if we have whole shrimps, okay? So we just put them in here like this and we'll cook those toward the end, okay? Let's not worry about it right now, all right? Let me clean my, uh, my table. You know I have my sanitized rag in here for those of you that are new to my channel. Little soap, just a touch of bleach, no more than a pool water. I constantly clean my hand, all right? So, mise en place, we got shrimp, we got parsley, I got a whole leaves of parsley, then I got chopped parsley, then I got chopped tomato, tomato con cassé. I have a video on that, how to do this, how to peel and chop a tomato correctly, yeah? And I got red onion. I don't normally use red onion, but for shrimp, it's perfect because it cooks really, really quick. I got chopped garlic. This time I got really, really chopped garlic. Meaning I didn't use my garlic puree. You can use it if you want, but in the garlic shrimp, I like a very uh, chunky pieces of garlic. Yeah? And then I got some white vermouth. You can use a Chardonnay, it's up to you. And I got sherry. I use a cream sherry, uh, like a Harvey's Bristol cream or Whatever, whatever cream sherry you like. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. And if you don't have a white vermouth, use a Chardonnay. Use a Sauvignon Blanc. It's only cooking. Be flexible. And I got this beautiful roasted garlic olive oil, my friend. This is amazing. Matter of fact, we're going to put a little bit of roasted garlic olive oil in here. And then we're going to put butter. You know, I hear a lot of people online say, if you put a little bit of olive oil with your butter, your butter won't burn. I don't know where they got that idea from. I don't know where they read that, because that's not true, okay? It's got nothing to do with it. The reason we know, we know, we know, the reason why <laughs> they got the, bur the butter burn is because it's got milk, and milk protein burns at 250 degrees. I don't care if you put olive oil with it or, or any kind of oil, it's still gonna burn at 250 degrees. That's why we use clarified butter, or we use, um, uh, uh, we use olive oil, but in Cooking shrimp, we don't really care because those shrimps are going to cook really fast. We don't need that much high. So we're not going to burn the butter, I promise you. All right? So I got my shrimps ready to go. And you know what I do is I wash them really, really good. And then I drain them. And you see, look, I don't know if you can see, but there's some water in there. I drain them. And the black tigers, got that, they're not that pretty anyway. So let me get a wooden spoon. I like better to cook with a wooden spoon. And then we're going to put the shrimp. We're going to keep those guys toward the end. We're gonna put them in here. 
we're going to start with the onion. Remember now, the onion is always first, even if it's a red onion. We're going to put them in here. We're going to cook them real quick. This is going to be really quick, as long as you have your mise en place ready. So if you have time, you can make a tomato con casse. This is a peeled and diced tomatoes. They have been peeled. You put them in boiling water for a few seconds. You put them in ice water for a few for a minute. And then you chop them up in dice. You don't have time to do that? Don't worry. Just use a, a cherry tomatoes. Cut them in half and then cut them in half again, little quarter. Use little grape tomatoes. Uh, just check a whole tomato and cut them in little dice. Don't worry about it. If you don't have time to remove the, the skin, it's still going to be delicious. Okay? So I wouldn't worry about it. All right? We got to relax. This is just about cooking. Now, the red onion, if you don't have red onion, just use a regular onion, especially if you live in Georgia. <laughs> That's where I'm from. Um, <laughs> uh, in Georgia, you got the Vidalia onion. Those are nice and sweet. But the red onion is perfect for this. You know, I only use red onion for things that don't cook very long. Like, for instance, if I do a green beans, I like red onion, spinach, I like red onion in there. Usually, I use the red onion to make salsa. Red onion is perfect. It doesn't really need to cook. That's why you use it in salsa. That's why you use it in so many cold preparations. But not like a regular onion, then you should cook to caramelize to get a little sweeter. Okay, so dope. Right there. Now, remember, we're going to put a little garlic in here. Remember, the onion first. Onion first. Now, we got the garlic in here. I know it's going to be a lot of garlic, and some of you are going to say, oh, mama mia. It's a lot of garlic. I know. It's a lot of garlic, but I love it's a garlic shrimp. Huh. Garlic shrimp without garlic is not exactly garlic shrimp, right? So now we're going to go in there, my friends, and we're going to put the, sh the shrimp. All right? We're going to increase the heat a little bit. So we're going to mix all this up. For salt, we are going to put... Fleur de sel. If you have never used fleur de sel before, folks, it's an amazing salt. You got to try it. If you don't have fleur de sel, use any salt that makes you happy. I'm going to use a little bit of black pepper. If you don't have fleur de sel, don't worry about it. Just use whatever salt makes you happy. Okay, whatever salt you have, kosher salt is good. Whatever salt you got is going to be perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to saute them. Got to get them hot. They're going to go re really quick. We don't want to overcook them. They're going to go really, really quick, okay? And then I'm going to serve them with a little linguine. I'm going to put those guys in there, the one that I cut. So then we can uh, cook them on the side separately. All right? Let's put that away. In a minute, I'm going to add my white vermouth. And if you, like I said, if you don't have white vermouth, use a chardonnay. It's perfect. This is so easy to make, and it's so delicious. We're serving it with linguine. You can serve it. You know what's delicious to serve it with? The polenta. I don't know if you've ever made my polenta, but I got a polenta recipe on there. It's amazing. And I love to serve it in a bowl with a soft polenta underneath. Oh, yeah, delicious. So we got a little bit of chopped tomatoes. You don't have to use all of them. A little bit of chopped tomatoes. All right, and we're going to start cooking them. Now, how do we know they're ready? We know when they're not translucent anymore. Now, the uh, black tiger shrimp, they look kind of strange. But I promise you, they are amazing. They're very, very firm. Oh, also, I get a lot of people then say, hey, why do you use metal in a non-stick fry pan? Let me tell you, the brand I'm using is called Wall, W-O-L-L. -L. It's a German fry pan. Let me tell you, I've been using this fry pan for 10 years. I don't know how many years. I haven't counted them. But, <laughs> but a long time. And I'm not saying go in there and smack the crap out of it. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, as long as you are gentle, it doesn't hurt it. I've been using these pens for years, years. I don't have a single scratch in it, so it doesn't really hurt it. They're not say, uh, uh, they don't recommend you do, but they do not. They say as long as you're gentle with it, it's not going to do anything. And, and I know for a fact, because I've been using it for a long time, and it's perfect. So don't worry about it. It's perfect, okay? So let's saute them a little bit more. We're getting close. We're getting close. I'm starting to really, really smell my garlic. I don't want to overcook my garlic. I'm starting to smell it. Let me take a spatula to clean up, folks. It's one of my, uh, my, one of my pet peeves in here when I see people cooking and they got all the stuff around the fry pan. You see the way I do it? All the stuff around the fry pan. We don't want it to be around, otherwise it'll burn. And see, I just do it and boom, I put it right back in there. <laughs> That's why you continue doing this. This smells amazing. This is smell amazing. My, I think my English is getting worse. All right, so uh, we're going to put the white vermouth, a little bit of white vermouth, or a little chardonnay. Depends what it is you have. And we're going to put a little bit of sherry, just a little bit of dry sherry. 
I'll be supposed to cream a cream sherry, whatever sherry you want to do. You don't have it. Don't worry about it. It's still going to be delicious. And this, friends, is going to help us make an amazing sauce. See, they're still very translucent. Very translucent. They have not cooked yet. So it's okay. We're good. We're going to bring everything to boil, and it's going to go really, really fast. Linguinis. I got the linguine pre-cooked, so it makes it easier for us for to do the video. I use a Di Cecco. Di Cecco. Di Cecco is one of the best Italian pasta you can buy, my friends. Di Cecco. They really, really, you find them everywhere. We're going to take a look. I got a pre-cooked already, a little linguine right there. You can serve it with spaghetti. You can serve it with linguine. You can serve it with, uh, with whatever your favorite pasta is. And I got my water going in here. See, look. This is the way you do it in a restaurant. You pre-cook them, right? And then you put them in like this. And then you put them in the water for a second just to get them slightly hot, right? And then you, you take a fry pan right here. Right there, you put a little butter in there. You know, pasta and butter. Very simple, nothing special. We're gonna cook this. Let me turn this on. Right there, oh, the shrimp, we gotta hurry up now, friends. We're gonna put a little bit of parsley. Smell the garlic is amazing. You see now, I got a beautiful sauce in here, friends. The shrimps are, are getting ready. I still see a little translucent in there. So they're not quite ready. We're gonna, actually, we're gonna reduce the heat. We're gonna reduce the heat because we don't wanna overcook them. I'm gonna put just a touch more parsley. I'm gonna put a few little tomatoes at the last minute, eh? Oh, here you go. Boy, this is getting hot really fast. That's just for the pasta, eh? Let's turn this up. Let's turn this up. Really simple. You see, look. The pasta just came out of the water. The only thing I do in a pasta, I get a big pot. It doesn't matter how much pasta I got, I have a big pot. So you, the, the, the pasta rolls over and releases the extra sauce. Little salt, little pepper, and little butter. That's all you need in your pasta. And in this pasta, we're just gonna leave them plain. Okay, we're gonna mix it all up really good. That's all you need to do. You wanna put some cheese in there, you go right ahead. Just that's it, just very simple like this. Now let's finish this. Let's see how we're doing. We're doing good, it smells amazing. Let me bring it to boil just really, really quick. It smells amazing, friends. All we need now is butter. That's all we need. So let's prepare everything so we can make a nice plate. I got this beautiful plate that I like to use. You can use a big plate, a small plate. If we don't want to make it a little bit elegant, let me just clean up because I got a big mess everywhere. We're going to take our noodles. Put whatever you want on here. Just put them right in the bottom of it. No problem at all. Just put them right in here, just like this. Nothing special, okay? Put them right in the bottom. And now we're going to finish the shrimp. We're going to put a little bit of butter or a lot of butter. Yes, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, friends. The heat is off. The shrimp set down. Oh, yeah, baby. This is going to be delicious. You see? You see? Look how beautiful of a sauce we're getting. If you could smell this right now, my friends, you would love it. So what we do, we take a shrimp. It's in a nice, beautiful size. We take the, 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 the half a shrimp right there. We put them all the way around it. So we make a nice little plate. You see? That's really simple. Well, there's enough for six people in here. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna take one of them big shrimp right there, friends. We'll put it right there on top. Very simple, you can put one or two or three. I got a couple of them in here, see? I got a couple of them right there. We can put them right on top of it. Just being happy together. Here we go, very simple. We still got a few little pieces of tomato that we can put in here for bright color. Then we got a little bit more of the parsley right there. Let's take one big piece of the parsley. Maybe this is just a little too big. Let's put something a little smaller right here, friends. Really simple. We're not finished yet though. Oh, hold, hold a minute before I do this. Mama mia, look at me. I'm destroying everything here. Hold on one second here. Don't go anywhere, everybody. <laughs> I don't want to stay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Stay here, you. Stay, okay? What I gotta do, friends, I gotta put some of that sauce now. I gotta put some of that beautiful sauce right here, friends. This is, this is what it's all about right there, my friend. You see, that sauce right there, that's what's gonna make the shrimp so delicious. 
That's what's going to make the stream. Look at look, look at the garlic in there, friends. You see all the garlic in there? Oh, yeah. This is going to be delicious. All right. Put as much or as little of the sauce as you want. Right there, we're going to put a little bit of the parsley just to make it look really pretty. And I love the, talking about parsley, you know, a lot of people just say to use the Italian parsley, use the curly parsley. It's really a matter of opinion. There's no right or wrong. Use whatever parsley makes you happy. I personally think that the curly parsley has more flavor than the flat leaf parsley. Use cilantro, use whatever makes you happy. I hope you enjoy making this wonderful dish, garlic shrimp, extremely simple with a little linguine. Oh my God, I almost forgot to eat it. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't know if you can hear them, but mmm, they're crunchy. Mmm, oh, it's so hot. Mmm, they are crunchy. They're almost like you're eating a little lobster. They really are amazing. Mmm, mmm. 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 I love my job. Remember, you gotta make this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See? Mm. Give us a thumbs up. We look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for watching. Mmm. Delicious. Well, they are delicious. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm. They really are amazing.